Brooks and Delongo Campbell, musicians in bars getting beer, but we're not at a bar or getting beer, we're just at the beach, right near the Ludi Lifeguard House, which just turned 100. It's beautiful. Tell us about your music business. Um, well, I've been singing, you know, most of my life, and um, been doing jazz choirs, um, I love to sing jazz. Um, you know, some private events, and most recently I was um, in a rock band. Um, it was called Haunted Heart. It was really fun, and uh, yeah, and just continuing to write music and, you know, perform here and there. I just love to sing, so. That's great. <laughs> you looking to reform Haunted Heart? Um, no, no, not reform Haunted Heart. Maybe or start, go yeah, start my own band, oh, I okay. think. Maybe like Roxy or something, you know? Sure. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just and I actually have uh, more of my own um, songs because when I was in Haunted Heart, we really focused a lot on writing original music. Oh, cool. Um, and um, I actually got to perform a song that I had written like 15, almost 20 years ago. And I got to perform the song with them. So it was really, really great. And um, I just really want to continue like writing songs and actually getting more of my own stuff out there because. You know, I find the songs in my head, they're so catchy. <laughs> and I just want to get them out there. So I would like to maybe uh, form a band and try to do some more original songs too. Roxy sounds cool, but I'm going to continue to call you Roxanne. That's okay, that's good. <laughs> so tell us about your influences. Growing up in the 80s, I loved all kinds of music like Madonna, Boy George, um, you know, all kinds of pop and rock in there, even country music. Like my mom loved Willie Nelson, oh. Dolly Parton. So I just had so many different kinds of musical influences and um, my own style, you know, it's kind of funky. It might be, maybe we can have a little bit of like electronic in there, you know, as right. well as like rock. I love the rock and roll kind of attitude where you just be yourself and who cares what anyone thinks. You know, that's kind of, it's really fun and the energy is just great. Do you do cover tunes or are you, are you all original? I do cover tunes um, all the time. Like I like to sing jazz as well. I used to do the jazz choir at the Royal Conservatory of Music. And you know, I just love to sing all kinds of styles. So Madonna, of course, cause she's just a powerful woman in music. Maybe she's not making as much music now, but you know, growing up as a teenager and everything, she was kind of like the it woman. Now, um, artists like Lady Gaga, she, you know, she kind of ranges to like a theatrical kind of um, musical style. So I really like that as well. Love and you know, growing up with rock bands like Garbage, like female um, female rock stars, Garbage, Shirley Manson, um, No Doubt, you know, Gwen Stefani, those kinds of like strong female uh, rockers <laughs> really influenced um, just influence me. Sure, and uh, and your writing style does that go along with that sort of music too? Um, I think so. You know, I think some of it can be poppy or catchy, and you know, a little bit of rock in there. I like to mix it all in. Sometimes I have like a slow song, and that'll be maybe might have a bit of a country feel to it. You know, I just I just like sure. to mix it up. <laughs> Uh, so, favorite people that you've worked with and places that you've played, perhaps? Let's talk about that. Um, favorite people that I've worked with? Uh, Jacqueline Lovely Paris. She's really helped me out and supported me ever since um, I started in, when I was in Haunted Heart. Um, she helped us. We did our first show with her band. We opened up for her, and that was like the best show we ever had, actually. Where was that? Um, that was at the Rock Pile. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that. and it was a great, a great venue for live rock music. The energy there is great. The staff is amazing, and just everyone was there to have a good time. And it was just the best, probably the best show we, I ever did when I was in Haunted Heart. It might be on YouTube if you uh, check it out. The the show could be on YouTube, but definitely everything was like magical that night. So, That's cool. and Jacqueline again, another strong, uh, strong woman in the rock scene. So. I just, you know, look up to them and try to learn as much as I can from everyone and just try to be myself and have fun too. What's more about that show? Um, it was just a great uh, show showcasing women. There was uh, Sophia, Sophia Radish was on there as well that night. So just like women who have passion, who are on fire, have something to say and want to give it out to the world. 
that kind of thing. It was very, uh, it was really empowering. You know, just being part of the Women on Fire show was just a great honor. So Barry rocks. Hello up there, Jackie. <laughs> well, of course, um, I love going to the jams with Joe DeLima and um, Tony Oldland, like all the great, um, you know, they put on great shows and great performances all around Toronto. Um, Madam um, Deborah Ruta, she's a great, powerful, strong woman in Tor the Toronto rock scene. So I really look up to her and she's just given me some great advice in the past. When I was with the rock band, that's kind of where we started going around um, Toronto and stuff. Other than that, I've been doing like private, events. I have a friend of mine uh, who plays saxophone and his name is Dave McLaughlin and he's really great and I've done some private events with him as well. Okay, cool. Um, where do you think... Uh... Oh, here's a good question. This one's from the Woodstock movie. Why is music the great communicator? Um, well, I believe like music um, is like an energy. I believe everything in the world is an energy and music just kind of vibrates and you know, you can feel the vibrations in a certain way where it just kind of connects with. Um, some of my other favorite places um, to play in <laughs> Toronto was uh, actually the Black Swan was really great. Cherry Colas um, had a great energy. The staff there was so amazing. Uh, the sound guy helped me set up my in-ear uh, monitors and stuff. Oh, so, <laughs> did you meet yeah. Cherish? Yes, I did. She was amazing and so beautiful. She is, uh, oh, and you know, and she owns her own you know, bar, like she is the ultimate, uh, you know, boss lady. <laughs> yeah, role so, model for rocker girls. Yes, definitely. Um, so maybe if I ever have my own uh, band, I might uh, call them up there at Cherry Cola's. It's kind of sexy there, so <laughs> that'll be fun, you know? And um, yeah, just like, there's a few different places in Toronto that are really nice, you know, some little spots. And definitely, um, we did a few shows at the Rock Pile. It was great. And yeah, it was just, you know, hopefully I'll have more places to rock the stage, <laughs> hopefully uh, soon. What are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Oh, actually, um, I love to support my friends, of course. So actually, I got this amazing vintage uh, gold chain bling bling from Rock Goddess on the Danforth, one Hi, of my Kyla. favorite places to shop. Cool. <laughs> and these bracelets actually were made by Amanda Quinn. She, uh... Nice. They're very pretty and sparkly, so very I love sparkles. Nice. And you even got some chains on there, so it's very cool. Awesome. Uh, so how do we get a hold of you online? Um, well, you can go to my Facebook page, uh, Roxanne Delongo Campbell. I don't have a, a website yet, but I will be maybe working on that soon. Okay. And um, there are some videos on there. Um, there's videos on YouTube. I do have a YouTube page, Roxanne Delongo Campbell. Um, you can also search up if you want. I think maybe some Haunted Heart might be on there as well um, on YouTube. Uh, I know um, that the first show we ever did at the Rock Pile was also, uh, someone was filming it, uh, Fernando Goulart was filming it and um, he put it on, on YouTube as well. So, and also we have a song on iTunes. So okay. that song was called uh, Haunted Heart by Haunted Heart. And that was a really fun song, you know. I just, one of our original songs that we did write together when we um, were together. And it was just really fun. It just made me want to keep writing more and more music. So oh, that's great. I'm really excited to work on my own stuff, I think. <laughs> that's cool. So, do you have any uh, funny stories you want to share? Um, I don't know, like, about really funny stories, but what I think is kind of cute and, like, kind of funny is um, I have my two daughters, the one 10 and 5, and the youngest one, like, I'll, I'll be practicing songs, even if I just sang it, like, around the house, like, one time, if I'm practicing, she'll know, like, all the words, and I'll hear her, and she'll be playing, like, her Barbies and singing the song. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, and she'll be playing and singing, and she knows all the words, and that's I only, like, young. yeah, and if, even if I just started practicing that day, she already knows all the words, so it's really funny. That's cool. <laughs> They're so cute, so their mom, you know, they feel like their mom is, like, a rock star, my uh, older daughter, she was telling all her friends at school, and when I had to go on the class trip, they all her friends were like, sing, sing for us <laughs> on the school bus, so it was pretty funny. So you're not too shy for that? Uh, no, no. No, it was okay. I think I sang a little something for them. Rock Pile's a different <laughs> crowd than a school bus. 
Yes, the rock pile is a, a, a well, I don't know, that school bus was pretty crazy too. <laughs> a bunch of 10 year olds, you know, that poor yeah. school bus driver. <laughs> Where do you think the music industry is going to go after this uh, era that we're in? Um, definitely, I think it's going to be maybe a little more, right now it's a little bit quiet with the music um, and the you know performances and stuff I definitely think that when people do go out to, to see music like at a local bar or anything like that it's definitely gonna be a little bit more focused on you know the performers and the music and just really enjoying and just being respectful as well too <laughs> well thanks for being on musicians at the beach getting thank a, you thank water. you Billy <laughs> Yeah, oh, I think musicians at the beach getting water getting because water, it's like yeah. super hot today. I just got my tap water. They probably just um, filtered it just down the road there at Victoria Park. Well, thanks for being Thank on you. Musicians Thank and you, Bars Billy. Getting Beer. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>